everybody and welcome back to Dana's Coloring Obsession. Um, we are doing a Sunday's Are for Whips and of course I've pulled out Circle of Life again by Chatsupani Gitu, Mel Pamini, sorry, Chatsupani Gitu, this book, if you don't know what the cover looks like. Sorry, I keep bumping the mic. <laughs> and I have out for us to work on today this little fox um i thought we'd work on some leaves and um some pink flowers and then whatever else we want to do depending on time um <clears throat> so um i hope you are all well i hope you all are having a good weekend i'm sorry if my voice is a little crackly i have a drink if i need um it's just not coming back completely 100% from when I was sick starting in the, the end of December. So go figure. Um, let's just jump in. I've already done a leaf here and I'm going to use um, polychromos like we've been using on this. Um, so I'm going to, while we're talking and chit-chatting, um, I'm going to do all the segmented looking leaves like so in the same colors that I did this little guy and I'll show you how I did that um, as we go but I'm going to zoom in first and we'll get started. Okay so I am going to take my darkest color here which is my chrome oxide green 278 if you're wondering and I'm going to pick a segmented leaf here. And just go over the center and the lines that Mel Panini already provided me. But yeah, um, so things are good for us, busy as normal. Um, we, this, as I said in the um, community tab on my channel, as well as why we didn't do a Sundays are for whips last Sunday. Um, my um, family finally got to do our Christmas for 2023. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was so much fun. Just coloring with chromium green opaque now 174. Um, we had a really good time. Um, it was nice to see everybody because it's we haven't really spent a lot of time together lately and from everyone's just well primarily my family <laughs> has been sick for so long it seems but um, anyways we um, did Christmas presents and ate wonderful snacks that my mom cooked and made and um, we played an awesome game that my sister, um, did. It's one of those where you take saran wrap and you make a ball of gifts. Like you stick them together, roll as you're rolling a ball, making a ball in saran wrap. And she made this ball that was like the size of a basketball or bigger, of just money and um, lottery tickets and ornaments, Christmas tree ornaments and, um, sorry, that was earth green yellowish, uh, 168. But I'm also going to use my lightest green now, which is May green. Um, anyways, she... <laughs> And it also had little um, bits and bobs of other types of things as well. But, I mean, you can put anything you want in those, you know. And it was so much fun. And, and then she had like a 10 um, with two dice in it. And the person before, so we all sat in kind of a circle in the living room. And um, the person before the one that has the ball starts rolling two dice and they roll the dice continuously until they hit doubles. And then when they hit doubles, the person that has the saran wrap ball 
has to try to stop opening it. And they open it by unwrapping the saran wrap without ripping it or tearing it on purpose. Um, and, you know, whatever falls out, they keep. But when the person in front of them rolls doubles, they have to stop and pass it on and so forth. And it goes around the circle. And it just, it created a lot of um, <laughs> fun laughing and talking and cheering and throwing of bundles of saran wrap at each other. It was a great, it was great fun. It was a good time. And I'm so glad that she thought to do that and, and get us all going, you know, as adults and stuff. The kids were having a great time with their Christmas presents and everything. And, and it was really neat to get to do that as well. Um, we also got fun things from each other and wonderful pictures of my nephews and their whole family. And it was just a really good time and I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so that was last weekend and then this whole week has been normal. I'm gonna just keep continue on to some of the other leaves. <clears throat> we won't just do leaves today, I promise. <laughs> I'm just going to do some more of them and then we'll continue on to do something different. But so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I hope that we decide to do that in the future. We told her because that's expensive. She had to end up, I think she said she ended up using like four rolls of saran wrap for the ball itself, which is not, I mean, that's not cheap. And then not in not including the money that was in there, the lotto tickets, the ornaments, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure that added up. So we told her that if we continued that, you know, tradition of that playing that game, that we would totally help get the things, you know, um, to put into the ball and the, the, the materials that... <laughs> it takes to put it all together we would help with you know so it wouldn't be such a expense for her which she didn't mind doing of course but still you know we need to help out too so anyways so hopefully that can started a new tradition this year which is fun for the adults to have a little bit of a a game to play you know for christmas so that I just I really enjoyed that. That was hilarious. And my husband absolutely thought it was amazing. He really liked it. He was being naughty towards the end of the game, like starting to unwrap the ball before the person was starting their dice and all kinds of things. Like it was funny. It was funny. But um, so, yeah. It was a good time, very good time. I need to, sorry, I need to blend this a little bit more. Polychromos are my favorite, like, well, not my favorite. I guess Prismas are probably my most favorite, but they're up there. Um, but one thing that they kind of lack a little bit, I wish they had the muted greens. I wish there was one shade lighter than the lightest green that they have for that they in their bright greens they have really light greens which is amazing but in their muted tones um, of green this is their lightest the may green and i just wish we had one step lighter to help us blend things with like leaves and things like that i mean it's fine and it works out just perfectly but it's not you know anyway Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so um, Jackson is doing good. He is almost, well, he's got a little ways to go. He still has some trouble with his right side um, mobility-wise. Every once in a while, he's still a little goofy. But part of that is still because he's still on medication, I think, you know? Because the doctor wants to keep everything inside there around the disc <clears throat> not angry. And in order to do that, we have to we have to medicate the poor dog. So, yeah. But he's doing much better and definitely on the road to recovering. Um, 
the vet didn't say this, but I'm wondering if it's just not going to be a hundred percent again, you know, like it's just kind of going to be this way. And if it is, that's fine. We already decided that he is not to do any more stairs. He's just too old and it's too much of a risk for him. Um, cause we have, um, a second floor in our, in our house. This is, I'm in upstairs bedroom right now. Um, and he just shouldn't do stairs anymore. He shouldn't jump up on things. He's just getting old, you know? And so a little bit of a life change there, which is fine. We knew that that was eventually coming, you know, with him being a miniature wiener dog and all. Um, Buddy, who is our yellow lab, he's a big boy. He's um, a little bit under 100 pounds now. But he um, he's 11, and for a big dog, that's pretty old, too. And his back hips are starting to bug him, too. So we're... The stairs are going to start being an issue, I think. Um, because all of our bedrooms are upstairs, and they're used to sleeping with us. And he has... A big floofy couch bed that he sleeps on um, downstairs but he likes to be with us you know and our bedrooms are upstairs so I don't know we'll figure it out as it comes and make changes and he'll adjust and we'll go on but we're just coming to the realization you know that our puppies are getting old it's so sad that they have such short lives, but they've had good lives, so. And they still might live for years and years, you know, fingers crossed, <laughs> as I draw on everything. Oops. Okay, so let's do, here, I'm gonna do this one again, still, um, with the colors that I'm using already. And then we'll change to do something different. I'll do a, a pink flower. Okay. So, and I think I'm going to do all of the butterflies. There are five butterflies total in this um, wreath of flowers or bed of flowers. And I was going to do, because I have four different colors picked out for the flowers themselves. Um, and I was going to do each butterfly because I only counted four the first time each butterfly would represent like one of the colors of the flowers in a different you know different shades and stuff and I'm gonna incorporate some shimmer I'm gonna put some stardust probably on the butterflies just the butterflies and maybe some of the little circular bits and bobs on the very outside edge but that's for the very end of the picture I think to make that decision anyways um the butterflies are going to shimmer a little bit um, but I was going to do one for every color of the flowers, but looks like there are five butterflies and I have four colors of flowers that I was going to do. So, I don't know, a couple of, uh, of the butterflies might be the same color. Maybe one of the tiny ones and one of the big ones will be the same color. Anyways, oh my gosh, did I just see another one? Hold on a second. Let me see. How many butterflies are on this page? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, there's six. Well, that's kind of a dragonfly. There's a, I think he's a dragonfly maybe up here. This guy I did not see until just now. But see, they kind of blend in. The little ones are right here. There's two of them. There's some big ones here. Anyways, we'll figure that out when we get to it. I think we're doing flowers and things before that. Um, if I do it off camera or whatever, but eventually I need to finish this page. <laughs> Anyways, let's let's do this leaf and then I'm gonna probably move to this flower here with you guys. So yeah. Um, we're doing good. I wish my voice would come back because it makes me sad <laughs> that it's been so long that I've had to deal with this. For one, it's annoying, really annoying. But for two, you know, I, am, I enjoy singing. 
<laughs> and I sing a lot and I cannot sing like my voice is not there and it, and it makes me sad but I mean I just hope that it comes back it almost feels asthmatic though like my I have fluid in my lungs I don't know it's hard to explain my hubby still thinks that, that the virus is holding on for dear life like it's still there a little bit and trying to hold on you know and that's what it is but I'm I'm worried that it's like something that happened that could be permanent I don't it just feels I mean for Pete's sake it's in we're in February now and I got sick in December like really <laughs> you know what I mean like it's like okay come on now and I did go to the doctor already and you know I, I had RSV and RSV hangs on I mean it's a long road it's a serious lung um, virus but this is ridiculous <laughs> it's ridiculous and I feel fine other than in this um, occasional now occasional cough I mean it's not as near as bad as it was and then my voice just not coming back but um, and who knows maybe I have an allergy thing happening right now that's just playing a part that happens to be doing that you know I don't know who knows <laughs> but yeah so you know what do you guys got going on right now how are you all doing how has your February been how was January I hope you guys are having a good month I wanted to remind you all I just posted a video on my new hashtags I have had a hashtag for several months um, forever friends um, and then the month and then 2023 or and then moved on to 2024 but right now it's forever friends I'll put it across the screen forever friends Feb 2024 and in in my video for hashtag I kept saying friends forever and I'm like oh Dana so I'm hoping I didn't confuse anyone but I did put it in the comments that no it is forever friends then the month then the year um, and then but I did start a new hashtag um this month for the year of the dragon it's pink dragons for dana 2024 and that is just it can be a holy all pink dragon it can have just pink elements on it and that's fine that would work too but send me your dragons if you color them for the chinese new year you guys i would love to see i would love to see them if they're pink and i did that specifically Sorry, I stopped coloring um, because I know that there's going to be a lot of hashtags out there for the year of the dragon. I'm sure. Um, let's start. Let's do this pink flower, and then I might go back to leaves because um, I would like to get those done today if I can. Maybe not on camera, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I am gonna move my camera real quick to zoom into this flower. All right, here we are. And I have a whole bunch of pinks. <laughs> I'm going to start with the center, which is going to be magenta and middle purple pink. And just the begin the middle of the, the little balls in the center, I'm just going to do magenta because they're very tiny. So they're just going to be the dark pink, pinkish purple, really. I'm just going to fill that in. And then I'm going to do the inside of these little, I don't even know what you call these. Are these little petals? Um, the magenta as well. And then I'm going to take this lighter dark pink and fill out the rest of it. Kind of like so. I probably should have sharpened this pencil. It's a little bit dull. And I'm just doing, there's some little ones up top here that 
looking at the bottom of their kettle. Done. Okay, sorry if you can hear my husband's music. I don't think you can because my mic does a good job of canceling that kind of stuff out, but just in case, sorry. <laughs> I hope you can't hear it too well because then I'll probably get some kind of copyright something or other. And then I am just filling out the rest of those little petals with the middle purple pink. It's a little bit uh, pinkier than I thought it was going to be when I tested it, but that's fine. It's still fine. But yeah. So we're coming up on Valentine's Day. Are you guys going to color Valentine's pictures? I have a few. Um, basically that's what my whole month is filled with is valentines and dragons and some just a few that aren't and they have to do with like some of the hashtags that I'm gonna be part of um, this month and those kinds of things but yeah I've got a good start already I've got three pages done that are on the smaller side. They're, po they're pocketbooks. So um, I've got two done in Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn and then one done in Joshua Dunbar's Valentine's Cuties. <clears throat> and I'm working on another one already that I have a buddy color in with Christina's Art Corner. And it's also for Disney Meg's Colorings ABC hashtag. Okay, I'm going to go back over the middle with the magenta a little bit. Just the middle. Make it a little darker so there's a little bit more of a contrast here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pinks, my darkest pink, for the petals, which is fuchsia, one, two, three, and I am going to follow these outlines. And go a little bit by the petals in the center. And I'm pushing kind of hard, not like terribly hard, but kind of. This uh, bed of flowers or wreath of flowers is fairly dense, like, there's stuff everywhere. Like there's random bunches of circular stuff here that are seemingly by themselves. I don't know. They look like the center of some of the flowers, but they're they're by themselves. So what are they? Berries? I don't some of it I'm not quite sure. If you know in the comments below, tell me what those are by themselves. Would you call those berries? What would you color them? What color? I'm gonna color the flowers pink, purple, blue, and yellow. Those were the four colors that I had picked for flowers. And so I don't think I'm going to incorporate any more colors because it's already going to be those four. Um, and then the green leaves and everything. So should I do like the darker magenta for those? What do you think? You guys let me know in the comments. But I'm still using my darkest pink, which is fuchsia, in the polychromes. 
I still really like my fox. I still haven't kind of gone back over him. I think I'm going to, I already, I kept my little sheet of paper of what I used on him, the, the colors. Because I think I'm going to keep, I might shade him a little bit darker with the red and the oranges and bring them in a little more so he's not so light in the center. But I, I don't know, it won't be too much. Just kind of, just kind of. All right, there's also a little bit of a flip on this petal here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna color it with the darkest. Almost done with this pink. Pink is my favorite color. If you didn't notice, as I was telling you about the pink dragons, <laughs> hashtag, I love pink. So that has specifically to do with me um, in that hashtag, but it's my favorite, my favorite color, for sure. I love purple and black as well. But pink is my favorite. Okay. Um, then I'm going to take the next color, Pink Matter Lake 129, and I'm just going to do a little bit farther out on the center and around the edges of the lines that I've done with the dark pink. barking. <laughs> There's a fur baby. Always. Protected our family. At least they think they are. <laughs> Baba. He, he's right outside my door is why you guys can hear him like that probably. If you can hear him at all and I just shouldn't say anything. I don't know. All right, I'm going to take lighter pink, which is actually coral. That's another thing with the polychromos. I need light, cool pinks, not warm pink light ones. I need, <laughs> I need another one that's lighter. We need just a few more colors in each range that it would make it absolutely perfect in my opinion. I love my polychromos, you guys know that I do, but if there was just a few more in each color, lighter ones or in some instances darker ones. <laughs> Actually, they do a fairly good job about the darker colors um, that would work for each bunch of coloring colors, but this is kind of more of a peachy color, but that's all I have to use because I just don't have a lighter. Because the next one down would be the beige red, which is extremely light and it's peachy. It's like one of the ones that I use for skin tones with this set. 
but this looks good. I mean, it almost looks like I meant to do peaches and pinks, which is fine. It gives it more, a little more interest, honestly, with the colors. Um, if you guys can see that. It makes it kind of cool. Honestly, I think I like it. Right now, I'm just blending with this lightest color some of the harsher lines that I, of course, pushed too hard in areas. Just kind of trying to blend a little bit. But I'm happy with it. Definitely happy with my flower. It's pretty. Getting rid of the little toothy areas. almost like a sunset flower, like the sunset colors, <laughs> which works for me. That'll actually be fun to do for one of the big butterflies. Maybe one of the big butterflies will be the sunset colors. That'll be fun. Okay. So this flower is done. Perfect. And now I am going to do a few more of these leaves with the same greens. Um, let me move the camera. Yeah, this, uh, this bed of flowers is pretty darn, um, involved. <laughs> It's fun though. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are staying interested. Excuse me. I know a lot of this could be samey. Oh, and just if you can see this, I colored in some of the tiny, tiny ones with the dark and light green. Just the tiny ones and then the bigger ones will have two colors in them around the outside there but some of the smaller ones I went ahead and colored in already These greens really do blend well together though, even though we don't have a lighter one that I want. They still blend well, which is one of the reasons why I love the polychromos. And I'm really enjoying my uh, Albert Durer, Durer ones now as well, which are the, basically the same colors. as the polychromos, because they're both from Faber-Castell. I think this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous when it's all done. 
I'm excited. I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything outside of, I don't think I will. I don't, I don't know. I'll decide, I think at the very end for that part to see if it needs it or not. There's such, it's such a big circle of tons of flowers and leaves and things that I don't know that we need anything behind it, you know? Okay, I've got three leaves are done. There's a couple more up here. So I hope you guys are coloring something too. Maybe you're coloring the same page. I don't know. If so, are you doing the same colors as me or are you doing something totally different? Just wonder. Just wonder. My tummy's growling. I don't know if you heard that, but I am hungry, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh, I like my leaves, too. I keep looking at that pink flower. That is not what I planned on, but I like it. <laughs> happy accident, right? It's a happy accident. That's what I get for not testing out all of the colors together. But it worked out, so that's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Professional YouTuber here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. There's some more leaves. It's starting to take shape in life, you guys. I think I'm going to do these little whim little knobby things, maybe yellow. I don't know. There's hmm, so many things that I have no idea what I'm going to do here. The bigger ones that look like leaves, I'm going to definitely do green. But like these that have like a stem and stuff, should I do those yellow? Hmm. Okay, well, I have a whole bunch of leaves still to do, um, but we should do something else probably before we end this Sunday for our for whips. Sundays are for whips. Let's do all right, let's do a blue flower really quickly. Um I am going to use my darkest blue first, which is the Endanthrin Blue 247. And we're going to do one of these little boys in the middle. Not sure what I'm going to do for the center yet of this flower. I might just take my darkest blue and use it for the center of the flower.
Now these are my um, marine blues, my ultramarine. Light, ultramarine, and ultramarine, and then also sky blue is at the very end. Our, our lightest blue. So these are kind of a muted green, or green. <laughs> well, a muted blue. Not like the bright, you know, we're just, we're kind of not doing the bright spring, but they're the, the same colors, just on the more of a muted spectrum. Does that make sense? Softer, but not pastel. I think that goes better with our fox and it's not springtime not yet <laughs> okay and I am going to take my darkest blue and just fill in this middle section here There we go. And there's our blue flower. He's so cute. So sweet. Oop. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to think some more on the baubles because the more I look at the whole wreath, they're, they're everywhere. And I don't know that I want that much yellow on this. And it might look fine once I get all the leaves colored. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color one of these flowers next to the blue one um, in our yellows. Um, as I say yellows, I'm going to use brown ochre 182 <laughs> for the center of the flower. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do this one yellow, this bigger one. So we're going to go with the center as brown. Kind of like sunflower colors almost, but not a sunflower, you know? And I am going to use the light yellow ochre for the other tiny little bubbles. And then also the outline on the petals. Darken that up a little bit. Okay, and then the next one is dark nipples yellow just long outside edges of the petals All right, and then the just Naples yellow. Right underneath that. And then I'm gonna go in with the cream in the center of the petals.
kind of lower actually <laughs> not quite the center like I wanted but kind of blend everything together again Okay. Let's darken these up just a little bit. Sorry, you guys, I'm not the best at flowers, I'm sure. I have lots and lots to learn. And these are fairly simple compared to some. <laughs> but I think they look okay. All right. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. I've showed you what I'm doing with my, at least three of my four colors um, for my flowers and then some of the leaves and what they're gonna be like. And yeah, we'll see if I get any more done before <laughs> next Sunday. Um, or if I get, or if I don't wanna work on this one on Sunday, we'll choose a different whip too. We can also do that since I've worked on this the last couple of times or the last time. Did I work on it two times in a row? I don't think so. Anyways, regardless, there will be a whip on Sunday. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out with me today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!